you out of the crash, stay focused, and you'll be okay. One of the narratives about men in prison is that men in prison are predators. That you go to prison to learn how to be a better prison. And I tell people that I went to prison when I was 16. And what I learned in prison was how to be a better man. I graduated from Yale Law School. And the questions that people always ask me, can you actually be an attorney? And when I decided to go, people said, do you think law schools will admit you? And I had some struggles, you know. Some schools, UVA put me in a weight like this, like an eye I mean, you are high school. They did rob somebody out here. So UVA didn't admit me. But everybody else did though, right? And, um, and when I got into Yale, you know, one of the things that was on my mind was how would my classmates respond to me? How would my professors respond to me? But when I graduated from Yale, I was again chosen to be the person that carried the flag and led me and the rest of our the graduates into the space where we're going to receive our diplomas. And so I've been honored to be rewarded in that way. But that honor is not mine. People say, how did you get to that point? And the way I got to that point was what I learned in prison. When I was building with dudes on the yard, and I had to figure out how to negotiate this space that could be complicated and violent, but also could be a place where you could be enriched. And so I took those tools and I took those skills and I made a life on it. And I say that to you because I think sometimes you don't get a chance to, to hear that narrative. I wrote a poem when I was in prison once and I said, what I do when I get released won't matter because the people who need to see it most won't. And I didn't believe anything that I am is possible when I was 16. It was men in prison who called me professor who, you know, was like, hey, hey look, I need to file this hate petition when you file it for me. Who first encouraged me to believe that I could do things that I hadn't believed were possible. Um, I left prison with $25.71. I left prison without any degrees at all. I left prison, didn't even understand that colleges had two semesters. I didn't know when it started, didn't know when it ended. And I say that because I think that right now, all of you guys have, have a head up on me. You've had opportunities that just frankly didn't exist. I did time at Red Onion State Prison, Sussex One State Prison, Augustine Correctional Center, um, Coffeewood, and uh, Southampton. And, and there was not a college program at a single prison where I served time. So it's not just that you have accomplished something that's remarkable. I think it's important to note that you have accomplished something that's rare and unique. And this is an opportunity that you should all be thankful for.